Hi, this is Rob. How to do quadratic regression on the TI-84 plus CE. This is the data we have. First step is to enter the data. Press the stat button here. We want number one, edit. So press the one button here. This window pops up. If you have any old data here like this, go to the top of the column here, L1, by pressing the arrow buttons here. Then, when the cursor is on the L1, press the clear button here. Then press the enter button. I will also clear out the L2 data. The old data is cleared. Now enter the X data into L1 and the Y data into L2. 7, enter. 20, enter. 33, enter. 47, enter, 60, enter, 67, enter. Now enter the Y data into L2. The data is entered. Now press the Y equals button here. Clear any Y1 information from previous problems. Press the clear button here. Next step is to do a scatter plot graph with the data we entered into L1 and L2. Go to the stat plot by pressing the second button here and then the Y equals button here. This window pops up. We're going to use plot 1. It is already highlighted, so press 1 or the Enter button to go and set up plot 1. This window pops up. Plot 1 is highlighted on already. We want the scatter plot, which is this one, and it is already highlighted. X list is L1. And Y list is L2. That is what we want. Mark. This is the type of mark the scatter plot will use to plot the points. This one is OK. Color blue for the graph. Blue is OK. Now we need to make sure that the points on the TI-84 window are set up correctly so that we can see the whole scatter plot graph when we graph it. Press the zoom button here. This window pops up. We want zoom stat here at number 9. Zoom stat will make sure that we see the whole graph on the TI-84 window. So press the 9 button. But after we press this button, it will automatically display our scatter plot. This is our scatter plot graph, the graph of our X and Y data that we entered on L1 and L2. If you press the trace button here, the coordinates of each point will show below. You can move to the next point by pressing the right arrow button. This is a way to check that you have the right data and the data was entered correctly on the L1 and L2 list. Now we want to find the equation for a line that will best fit the points of this graph. Before we do that, we need to make sure that the stat diagnostics is on. Press the mode button here. This window pops up. Go down to stat diagnostics here and make sure the on is highlighted. You only have to do this once on the TI-84. The next time you use the TI-84, the stat diagnostic should be set to on. Now let's perform the quadratic regression. Press the stat button here. Move to the right to calc. Scroll down and look for quadratic regression. Here it is, number five. Press enter. This window pops up. We want our X list to be L1 and our Y list to be L2. For the X list, change the L3 to L1 by pressing the second button here. Then the one button here. Move the cursor down to Y list. Change the L4 to L2 by pressing the second button, then the two button. Go down to here, store regression equation. We want to store the regression equation in Y1. So press the VARS button here. This window pops up. Right arrow to Y VARS. We want number one function. So press the one button. This window pops up. Y1 is already highlighted. Press Enter to select Y1. This window pops up. Now go down and highlight Calculate. And press Enter. This window pops up with the information you need. Copy down this information. You may need it to answer questions on your homework or test. Right here is our quadratic equation for the line of best fit for our scatter plot. Y equals AX squared plus bx plus c, where this is a, this is b, and this is c. 
Now let's plot the line of best fit on top of our scatter plot. Press the graph button here. That line is plotting the line of best fit. The equation fits the data very well. Okay, that is it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel.